Welcome everyone to a Khan Academy tutorial. Today we're doing solving angles formed by parallel lines and transversal. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into this first question. It says L and M are parallel to each other. We need to find X. And no, we're not just gonna circle it and find it. We need to find the value of X. How many degrees is it? So let's go ahead and break this down. We have two parallel lines here. So really what we should add are these little carrots. As I like to call them, that means that they're parallel. Now, one of the rules we know about transversal lines, I'm gonna use two different colors, is that we have a transversal, that means a line going through two or more lines, okay? That means that alternate interior angles are gonna be equal. So we know that this is 54 degrees if we were to create that little line and extend it. Okay, so we have 54 degrees. Now, the key to this problem is we don't really need to extend this other line here, this 20 degrees, but yes, it would form another angle over here, also 20 degrees for an alternate interior. We don't really need to know about that because we care about X. We want to find X. So we want angles that are close and near to X so we can find the value of it. Now, one thing you'll notice is when we have this little line, that little transversal, it connects with this blue transversal that we formed here. So if we take that down, follow it down, and then come back around, you'll see that we form a triangle. One of the fundamental things we need to understand is a, is a triangle has 180 degrees sum of all its angles. So we know that all the angles need to equal 180 degrees. What do we have so far? Well, we obviously know that we have this 20 degree, we just found out that this 54 is there also because it's an alternate interior angle of this guy right there. And now we just have a missing angle. And I know what you're thinking, whoa, whoa, whoa. How is this helpful at all? Well, I'm gonna show you in a minute, but we need to find this missing angle first. So what, what do we do? We add 50, uh, 54 plus 20, that gives us 74 degrees. And we're gonna subtract 74 from 180 to tell us what our missing angle measure is. So we do 50, uh, 180 minus, sorry, minus 74, and that gives us 106. Okay, so 106. We know what this orange angle is now. We know that it is 106 degrees because all three of these angles add up to 106. How is this important? How is this useful? I might need to do some erasing here, so remember what this looks like. I'm gonna draw this blue line here, and I'm gonna make X degrees right there. Okay, let me erase this so we can get a better indication of what's going on here. Okay, so again, we made that triangle with the transversal. Okay, and now we know that this angle is 106. How do 106 and X relate to each other? They are supplementary. They form a linear pair, so we know that X plus 106 needs to equal 180 again. This is a, a different 180. We're not talking about a triangle, uh, triangle sum here, the angles of a triangle adding up to 180. Now we're talking about supplementary angles. So what do we do? We solve for X by subtracting 106 from both sides. And what do we get? We get 74 degrees. So 74 degrees is equal to X. I used the wrong color, but you guys get the point. 74 degrees. Next question. Okay, L and M are parallel to each other. This time you see the carrots, that's great. They should have done that on the other one. Maybe they did and I missed it. Oh well. Okay, but we're asked to find X again. So what do we do? Okay, well, let's break this down. One thing we should notice is we have a triangle here. They already have the triangle established and we have some missing angles. So one thing we can easily do is first identify a vertical angle. So we know this angle is gonna be equal to this one because they're vertical. That's the relationship, they're vertical angles. So if we can find angle C here or angle ACB, okay, that's angle X, that's equal to angle X, we're good to go. How do we find angle X? Well, you can see that again, we form a triangle. You can see this triangle here. So we just need to know all the angles within that triangle. So let's break it down. What are the angles in the triangle? We have 35, that's apparent. We have X, that's what we're trying to find. Can we find that bottom angle? And the answer is yes, we can. We have 85 degrees is right here. If we were to extend this line as it's shown there. So what does that make 85 and this angle that we desire? 
Well, they are supplementary. So we know that 85 plus that missing purple angle here, plus missing angle, I don't know, I'll just call them, I'll just call them Y, I suppose. I didn't really want to do that, but equals 180. So now I just do 180 minus 85, and I should get Y equals 95 degrees. So now I can erase Y, and I know that this is 95 degrees. Now I can form a new relationship with these three angles. I can say that, let me use, I guess this pink color, 35 plus 95 plus X, I'm gonna make this green, equals 180. Why? Because the three angles of a triangle need to add up to 180 degrees, as we just said. So now we just do 180 minus 95 minus 35 and I get 50, so I get X equals 50. Whoops, I changed color on accident. You guys get my point. That's essentially, we're gonna subtract 35 minus 95 from both sides. Okay, and we get X equals 50, so 50 degrees. Next question. Okay, we have three lines. It looks like they're all parallel. Um, P is the transversal. Uh, we have angle two uh, equals angle, this, hold on, I think it's saying that if we multiply the angle X by two, it's gonna be equal angle three times three. So whatever X is, we multiply it by two, and it's gonna be equal to three Y. Oops, I got the colors backwards. Let me do this. Okay, let's make this blue, I'll make this purple. Okay, so Y is here, we'll make that purple. Blue is here, that's X. Okay, so we need to find Z. Now, anytime you have transversals and parallel lines, really you only get two angles, okay? And they appear every time. So let me show this in green and pink. So you'll get an angle like this, and that will be equal to this one, and then you get an angle like this, and it'll be equal to that one. And then the, the corresponding angles and alternate interior angles and stuff like that, it will give you these angles are all gonna be equal, and then these green angles are all gonna be equal and I'm leaving off uh, those other ones because they already have a color. But you only get two angles. So we know that um, X and we know Y are gonna be two different angles. Okay, let me erase this just so you can see. If you wanna go back and look at that, you can pause it, rewind, okay? But X and Y are gonna be two different angles, but we know that X and Z are gonna be the same angle. Angle X is going to be equal to angle Z. So how do we do this? Well, first we know that if angle X is equal to angle Z, then we know that uh, angle X and angle Y, so if I go cut this over here, this is angled X, that makes X and Y same side interior angles. So angle X plus angle Y is gonna be equal to same side interior adds up to 180 degrees. Okay, that's my first relationship. Now what I can do, this is actually a pretty involved problem, I can substitute um, these values in here. Well, because I really wanna substitute this, uh, I need to solve for x here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide both sides by two so I can get x by itself. So I get x equals three halves y. Now, what do I do with this? I am going to substitute this into x. So I get three over two, y plus y equals 180. Okay, you have a couple different options from here. You can multiply everything by two to get rid of the, the two. I'm gonna go ahead and show that. If you want, you can bind three halves plus one y to get, uh, what would that be? It'd be five halves y. That's another way to go. Actually, I think I'm gonna show that way because I think most people are gonna like that. So this is essentially two over two y. That's the same thing as one y is the same thing as two over two y. So two over two y um, plus three halves is gonna be equal five halves. That's where I'm getting that from. So we have five halves y equals 180, and then I just multiply by the reciprocal, times two over five, times two over five, because that will cancel out, leaving us just with y. So we get uh, 360 divided by five, because 180 times two is 360, and we get 72 degrees. Now, I'm not interested in uh, y, I'm interested in z. Luckily, I know that y plus z equals 180 because I know that y plus x is equal to 180 and x and z are the same. Angle x is equal to angle z. 
So I can say y plus z equals 180, 72 plus z equals 180, and then I just subtract and I get 108. So I know that z is equal to 108 degrees, 108. And I changed the wrong color again, but you get the point, 108. That's actually a pretty tough one. All right, last question. Oh boy, angles L and M are parallel to each other. All right, it wants us to find X. So let's see if we can do this. So we got this one here, we got this one here. I'm going to extend this line. You're always gonna to wanna to do that. Okay, this one's actually not so bad. If we have parallel lines, then we got a couple things going on. We have a transversal here. That creates some angles. It creates corresponding angles. That means that's the same part of the intersection. We have two intersections, one here and one here. And these blue angles are in the same part of the intersection that makes them corresponding, so we have 80 degrees. Now, the other thing we have going on here is we have 124. 124 has got to be uh, supplementary with this angle here. So 180 minus 124 will give us that angle. 180 minus 124 gives us 56. So this angle right there is 56. The last thing we have going on is we have a triangle that's formed with these three things. So we know that the angle of those triangles or the angles of those triangles needed to add up to 180. And we're looking for, I guess I'll make it purple, X. So we know that 80 plus, uh, what is that, 56? That's this color. And I'll make it all uh, purple. So we know that 80 plus 56 plus X is going to add up to 180. So we just do 180 minus that sum. 80 plus 56 is going to be 136. So we minus 136 from both and we get X equals 44 degrees, final answer. So there you have it, pretty tough Khan Academy. Hopefully you'll be able to see that the three concepts we talked about, uh, triangle angle sum theorem and transversal angles with interior, same side interior and so forth. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.